Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, Africa. Good morning, United Kingdom. Good morning, America. Good morning, Asia. Good morning, Europe. Good morning, Italy. Good morning, Luxembourg. Good morning, Guyana. Good morning, Poland. Good morning, Ghana. Good morning to everyone listening to me at this time. Good morning, good morning, good morning to the peoples of the world. Good morning to the creation of Olojumari scattered all over the place. Good morning to every Nigeria in diaspora. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, it is my pleasure to be with you this morning. I am so glad, so happy that you and I will witness the beginning of a new month. Wow. This is another gift to you, to me, to see another month in the year 2024 and also to make the best out of it. As the Heavenly Almighty has given us this day, I pray for us that this day will be the beginning of new days, new glory, new blessing to us, to you, to me, and to everyone and everything that belongs to us. Good money, good money, happy new month. And it is still not too late to say happy new year. This morning, I am here to talk to you about another type of Egbe. Yes, another group of heavenly mates. This group of heavenly mates is very, very scarce. They are very scarce and they could be the missing link in somebody's life. They could be the missing link in the questions a lot of people are asking either about themselves or about someone close to them. The people in this group of heavenly mates can be very, very mysterious. They can be very, very mysterious. They can be very, very mysterious. Yes, one of the essential characteristics you see with them, we call them a Didi Modi. We call them a Didi Modi. They are part of Alarago, but they are very, very fierce. Very, very fierce. And one thing about their physical life is that they don't share their secret life with anybody. They wouldn't tell you the real truth about themselves. They are very hideous. They hide. They could be smiling at you. They could be friendly with you. But deep down inside, they will never tell you how they are fearing inside. This group of heavenly mates can also be very wasteful. They, they can waste your resources, waste uh, they can waste resources, they can waste opportunities, they can waste anything wasteable. This group of people in heavenly mates, they 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 they, they, are, they, are, they could be friendly, but when they tell you A, hey, just know that it is B they mean. It is not as if we say they tell lies. Of course, somebody who sees white and tell you vehemently that is black is telling you lies. But it is part of their hideous characteristics. You may have a child or a spouse that or a friend that um, uh, mirror this kind of activity, this kind of life. They do not take things serious. And they live as if nothing spoiled. You know what I mean? 
they are just here to live, enjoy, and go. They usually don't work hard. And they can be very good at helping you to spend your own resources. Working hard for them is a no, no, no. And in most cases, that is how you will find it. And that's how we are finding it. That this group of people will just... Um, how do I put it? This group of people will just... Uh, uh, we just be in a place where they have access to three square meals. Once they eat and they are able to change one or two clothes, they don't mind. They do not mind. They have the tendency to degenerate towards wrong attitude. They have the tendency to degenerate into vices, into waywardness, such as smoking, drinking, drugging, or even coded prostitution. Depending on the kind of home environment they find themselves. They could be very confused too. They are confused about their lives. They are bothered. They are worried. They are troubled in their own personal lives about how different they could be from other people, but they will never show you. They will never show you. These kind of people bottle up their feelings a lot. They bottle up their challenges, they bottle up their, their, their physical, spiritual, financial, material challenges. They bottle up and somehow they can't really stand on their feet alone. It takes extra sight, spiritual sight, spiritual understanding to be able to understand that this is who they are. Yes. It takes time to understand them. You will just be busy fighting them, quarreling with them, abusing them, and such people, they can fight you back. They don't give a damn. But to tell you what they are passing through is a no, no, no. When you face this kind of situation or problem, what do you do? You just seek spiritual help for them. And the basic spiritual help that we do for them is to get their Egbe pot for them and do the Egbe ceremony. Once we are able to do all that, oh, you will be able to get through at least 80% upward for them. Their kind of part of Egbe is usually attached to what we call Edidimodi, which is found in the in the deep forest. That emblem must be part of the Ikuku Egbe. Failure to get it could be a very serious problem. They are they are they are Egbe, they are heavily made, are very mean, very mean, very wicked very troubling and um, those who would usually do their Egbe pot needs to fortify themselves properly so that it will be something of joy at the end of the day it will not backfire on them and their heavenly mates will not fire back at them yes of all the groups of Egbe, we usually complain that Elericos are, are difficult to handle or possibly juggle. But this set of people are the worst. 
they are the worst. They are the worst. They are the worst. So, when confronted with this kind of uh, situation, what you need to do is just to get a very seasoned, experienced, exposed, and uh, uh, somebody who is very, very versatile in their at their work. And really, at the end of the day, it usually turns out good for them. My name remains to be wrong to allow someone who are popularly called the Yemi Bemeleke. I will be in the WhatsApp to take your questions and I will read your comments to respond. Uh, you can reach me on plus two three four eight one three five one two two seven five zero. I'm a princess of Oluku and the princess of Orisha. I remain your sister, your friend, and your Orisha mentor. Bye.